Now these should look familiar if you did the GI anatomy section. Remember what these are? Pyrus patches are basically lymph nodes that aren't hooked up to the lymphatic circulation, and they're a characteristic histologic feature of the ileum. Basically, these guys do what the lymph nodes do, recognize bad guys and mount a defense against them. Now, I'm sure you all know your lymphatic physiology, but just to recap, the process most immune responses use begins with these. The dendritic cells that are present in pretty much every type of tissue, let's say the skin for example. They're basically hanging around waiting for something suspicious to show up. And if they see a weird protein or other antigen they don't think should be there, they grab a hold of it and take it all the way to the lymph node, where they present it to the T cells. At this point, the T cells initiate a crazy cascade of growth, differentiation, and specialization of white blood cells that, among other things, causes the proliferation of B cells in germinal centers and the synthesis of antibodies that, when released into the bloodstream, help flag or even directly inactivate the target pathogen. But that's all immunology stuff that's discussed in a lot more detail there. There's a couple reasons why the Pyres patches are special. First of all, the thing that's circled here, the pink stuff, that's only the follicles, like in the lymph node we just talked about. In fact, this entire deep purple portion is the Pyres patch, not just the little pink follicles. The reason this is important is because, as you can see, the Pyres patch extends up to the mucosal surface in several places. And this, my friends, is the key to its function. See, instead of dendritic cells, the antigen-presenting cells that sit on the surface of the intestinal mucosa are called M cells. But they do pretty much the same thing. They catch antigenic particles and present them to the lymphoid interior of the Pyres patch. And that's what those little pink ovals are, just lymphoid follicles or clusters of replicating leukocytes that spring up in response to an antigen threat. But instead of the monomer IgG or the pentamer IgM, these replicating cells secrete IgA, the dimer form of the antibody whose primary purpose is to be secreted. This is the antibody that goes into mucus, sweat, tears, even breast milk. And the main purpose of this configuration is to cross-link the antigen while it's still outside the body, so that it's too weighed down with protein to penetrate inside the body like it normally would. Way to go, IgA!